Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Striggy, and I'd like to draw to you the attention of a short film brought to us by a Wisconsin director from BDG Pictures uh, from 2015, a uh, short film called The Trap, uh, which I had seen at uh, Milwaukee Festival uh, several years back. And uh, it is directed by Dick Grunert, um, who has directed a, a short film called Birthright, uh, been a writer of Adventure Time, and um, uh, recently uh, was part of a Monster Land anthology as one of the writers behind one of the segments called House Call. In any case, um, this short film um, uh, was funded on Indiegogo, and if uh, if I had known about it at, at the time, uh, I had not. I would have been a contributor of it, but I I was not, and it was it ended up uh, being one of the uh, one of the films um, in the Milwaukee Twisted Dreams Festival in its first year. So the film begins as Dave stops uh, at one of his friends uh, 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 by the name of Stewart's house after he'd gotten an excited call about showing him an experiment he'd just made. Um, Dave, who um, is played by Matt Frizzle, um, and he, as he walks up to the home, we get the sense that he's being watched, but he doesn't know all of this when all of a sudden Stuart startles him from behind and Stuart is played by um, Tony Janin uh, who is a very animated ca uh, character um, let me describe uh, so Dave asks him to go ahead and show him what it was that he call him, all called him over to show him Stuart explains all about the UFO sightings and strange sights th that his invention is actually a trap to catch aliens. It shoots up a bright light and catches them, and with the flip of a switch as bugs to a zapper brings them back to Earth. But the thing that's great about Stuart that I noticed was his facial expressions, as I said uh, uh before when he was telling him about the fact that he'd actually caught one there was a twitch of his eye that just made it all the more hilarious you could tell that there was a lot of humor between the two but as dave is led to the back room where body lies we find out whether or not if we are really alone in the universe or not what do you think so i, I relatively enjoyed this film and wish that i'd seen it at the milwaukee film festival when it was playing but as usual i was busy funding films at the time and i had seen quite a bit of films thanks to milwaukee movie talk uh which was which is another uh blog here in milwaukee um and uh, but enough of me uh though the comedy between the two actors was effortless and I totally, and, and it was a totally enjoyable film. The end game suggestion of what uh, a truly happened to Stuart was priceless and left you up to the imagination, which I like in a movie. If you try to explain everything, you have to leave some kind of mystery for the, uh, for uh, the audience. And I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to say all of that. So, what made it even better is that uh, the director behind this was a Wisconsin director. And I got a chance to talk with him a little bit myself um, after seeing this short film at the festival that I had. And he's definitely got an incredible personality as well. And I think has a promising future ahead of him as long as he's, uh, he stay, uh, stays, um, you know, on course and continues to make films. I think that he is a very good writer and um, has a lot le more left to contribute to uh, uh, 
the film world out there. So in any case, let, uh, 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 thanks for listening. Uh, I, I love describing films of this nature and uh, just love getting the word out on these films. So thank you for listening. Uh, appreciate the traffic. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed my description of this film. Uh, like and subscribe to my page if you have not. And uh, definitely have a great evening, morning, or afternoon wherever you are. Thanks ahead of time. Thank you so much.